Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on an RV that is in really bad shape. In fact, it was in such bad shape, the owner decided that he wanted to wrap it. They put this glue all over it, and now I've got to get all the glue off and then polish it back to a nice shine. I did a couple test spots. It's going to be a huge pain in my ass to get this thing straight, but I am absolutely and always up for a good solid challenge. So when you see this, you're going to say, oh, it looks faded, blah, 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 just polish it and you'll be done. Well, that's not necessarily the case because of the glue that the rat people put everywhere. That's got to come off before I can get to the shine. So that'll be the first order of business is starting to polish this thing. I will be cleaning the roof and doing a full thorough detail on it, but um, the main reason that I have it um, is because it's just dull and they look like the clampets rolling into a, a campground. So I'm going to get all that straightened out um, and I'm going to bring you, you guys along for the whole ride and let me go ahead and the camera view. So this is the RV, great looking coach. You can see I've done some test spots right there. This actual RV lives at the Villages, Florida. Did this section here and that section there, you can see the huge difference. And that was done at the customer's house. And then I had to renegotiate and he brought it here to uh, our property. So. You can see how dull it is, and you can see all the white marks from that glue. It's everywhere. So I'll be polishing the cab as well, but that's going to happen after I get everything else done. See all the love bugs up there? Got to get all those off uh, and polish that cap. You can see how nasty that thing is. Really dull and gross, but... There she is. All right, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to start pulling things out of my van and uh, get to work. You can see all those stripes and I mean, it's really bad, guys. But as I always say, if it can be fixed, I'm the guy to do it. So here we go. Uh, you see the test spots. The whole coach should end up looking like that. Uh, I've got it for about a week and I'll be working on it a lot. So, all right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting set up to get this thing uh, polished and I'll uh, bring you along for the ride as we progress. All right, guys, you see the back? Now you see me. Anyway, I've been working on this thing for four hours. I had to Today is the first day, and it's it was about trying to figure out what the path of least resistance with this thing was. I definitely figured it out, and uh, it all comes down to removing all that glue that the wrap company put on before I polish. I originally started trying to just compound through it, and while that's pretty effective, it was taken me like four times to get through it all to get a shiny patch but here my problem is that isopropyl alcohol is working awesome to quickly remove this uh this glue of whatever whatever glue it is that rap people use um that's vinyl not lyric rapper stuff anyway Whatever they use is pretty thick and heavy duty stuff and I have to get that off before I polish or I take four times as long to polish. So I figured out how to get it off pretty effectively and then compound and polish. But in this Corona China virus bullshit situation we've got going on, you can't get alcohol. So rubbing alcohol. So I had some 91%, I had two quarts of that, so two, 232 ounces of that. I used about 16 ounces and ran out of the first bottle. 
uh, have more at home and then I acquired another uh, 32 ounce of 70% so it should be enough to do the whole RV I'm pretty excited about that uh, but I also have another idea anyway so bottom line is I'm making progress I figured out what I need to do and the rest of it uh, there's a whole lot more to do I literally got only the back and uh, a piece of a side done today but I'm very very excited that I figured out I cracked the code if you will on getting this thing looking amazing so you don't want to look at me the whole boom see how glossy this back end is compared to the chalkiness that is here I did another test so what I tested here I don't know if you can see yes you can see how how hazy it is in here that's the glue in there all this that's the glue but in here you see all those streaks but you don't down here so what happened was I removed the glue from just this bottom section and left it on the top and I compounded the whole thing I did uh, I don't know when I'm using my gel coat oxidation eater uh, which is what I'm using on this thing it's pretty aggressive stuff um, when I'm using that I'll do I don't know between three and five passes for a section pass and you can see that it left all that behind so I would have to go over it and over and over it versus just hitting it that one time and you've got that immaculate clarity right there after I cleaned the glue off and then I compounded that's what's left I am gonna to have to polish this whole thing um, mostly because it does have some buffer trails I am using a rotary can't see it in this light but it's gonna have some buffer trails so I'm going to go at it with uh, my universal all-in-one then I'll be putting on uh, my gel coat ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating uh, that last three years in the saltwater environment should get a little bit more than that uh, on an rv if it's covered and out of the sun uh, most of the time now this one's probably not going to be but it is what it is you can see the definitive line between the four and winds and down that i did so that's the tape line no doubt that this looks better than that and you can see that glue right there so that's where we're at guys it's about four hours of figuring stuff out and polishing at the same time ish so got a lot of gloss back um i've got several more days uh that i'll have this thing i'm not sure at this point how long it's going to take to finish it but she is definitely going to get finished so there you go if that isn't a telltale of what's going on i don't know what is super duper gloss no gloss so all right guys i'm gonna let you guys uh be for now and i'm going to get cranking uh in a couple of days i'll be back here to finish up so this was part one which was just figuring everything out and uh, as you can tell i definitely have everything figured out and that's half the battle figuring out what the path of least resistance on all of this real estate is so thanks so much for watching check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products from detailjuice.com my processes and what I've got going on. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.